Yesterday we began looking at some character traits that one will gain from a pursuit of wisdom. We first began by contrasting them with negative character traits of one who rejects divine wisdom. We saw this from Proverbs chapter 6 verses 16 through 19 where Solomon says, These are six things which the Lord hates, yes seven, which are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil, a false witness who utters lies, and one who spreads strife among brothers. Today we're going to begin this part of our study by considering the fact that a false witness is an abomination to the Lord. Therefore, the wise man will be just and fair in all of his dealings. Earlier in this list was the abomination of a lying tongue. A false witness is different even though they both involve dishonesty. The false witness does not just utter a falsehood, but is offering false testimony against another, thereby denying that person of justice. Solomon says the thoughts of the righteous are just, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. Proverbs 12 verse 5. Therefore, we should be heeding the warning that a false witness will not go unpunished, and he who tells lies will not escape. Proverbs 19 and verse 5. Since we will be held accountable, wisdom demands that we will be fair and just in all of our treatment of others. Next, we see that one who spreads strife is an abomination to the Lord. Therefore, the wise man will seek peace. There are a few warnings in the book of Proverbs that describe the destructiveness of strife. A stone is heavy and the sand is weighty, but the provocation of a fool is heavier than both. Wrath is fierce and anger is a flood. But who can stand before jealousy? Proverbs 27, verses 3 and 4. Then Solomon says that an angry man stirs up strife, and a hot-tempered man abounds in transgression. Scorners said a city aflame, but wise men turn away anger. Proverbs 29, 8. The strife that is caused by an angry man is like a crushing rock and a fire that burns down a city. But the last verse that we see describes the peacemaking efforts of the wise man. Wise men turn away anger. Though peace is not always possible, the Apostle Paul would later state in Romans 12 and verse 18, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. One who pursues divine wisdom will seek peace whenever it is possible. So here we see some traits that will accompany the one who rejects divine wisdom. But now let's consider some of the traits that will personify the one who does seek after divine wisdom. First, we see that wisdom will lead one to develop a good reputation among his brethren. Solomon says that it is by his deeds that a lad distinguishes himself if his conduct is pure and right. Proverbs 20 verse 11. The only way to develop a good reputation is by consistently doing good over an extended period of time. Most men will proclaim goodness, but a faithful man who can find. A reputation is not built upon words, friends, but is built upon action. Therefore, a lad is not going to distinguish himself by making promises or claiming to have certain abilities. He is going to distinguish himself by his deeds if his conduct is that which is pure and right. When we follow after divine wisdom, we will do those things that are good. And when we do what is right, we will develop the reputation of being good and reliable. Solomon states that the crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the praise accorded to him. The crucible and the furnace were used to refine those precious metals and remove any impurities that were within them. Well, praise given to an individual works in much the same way. How a man reacts to the praise that is given to him is often an indicator as to whether or not he really deserves that praise. 
Furthermore, one who is truly doing what is right and not just putting on a show so that others will notice him will live up to the praise that he receives, therefore, thereby further establishing his good reputation. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today. We invite you to join us tomorrow as we continue our study of the character traits that come from acquiring divine wisdom. Thank you, and have a blessed day.